What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I have my co-host here. Say hi Blondie. We have Blondie with us because she is being a little rascal. At this time of night, around 5 o'clock, she gets very upset that David isn't home and she starts scratching the walls, screaming and just like running around like a banshee. So we're gonna keep her close by, keep her distracted because David's not coming home. <laughs> He's on a work trip right now. So yes, anyways, that is besides the point. We're starting off this video kind of late because I wanted to do kind of like a cook with me, kind of like meal prep with me, not really meal prep, but like cook with me. I wanted to share with you guys one of my kind of fun recipes I make vegan mac and cheese, it's really good and I love it. I love having it. So I figured I'd bring you guys along, kind of cook with me, share all that stuff and you know, all that jazz. So we're gonna make some vegan mac and cheese. It's kind of healthy-ish. It can be really not healthy, but I would say this is healthier than like regular mac and cheese. I try and make it a little more healthier, a little more dense with protein because you know, we're trying to make those gains. So yeah. I'm going to bring Blondie along with me. Her nails are literally digging into my skin. She's being a little rascal and we're gonna start making it. So let's let's just jump into it. I'm gonna have all the ingredients linked down below. It's pretty easy to get most of those ingredients. So they will be linked down below. But first, we're gonna start with the cheesy sauce cause you know, that is the best part of mac and cheese of course. Okay, so the base of this sauce is actually made with some potatoes and carrots. So I have some carrots here that really need to be finished up and we got a nice sack of potatoes. So I'm gonna peel the potatoes, peel the carrots, and then we're gonna boil them so that they become nice and soft. So you guys, this is what I mean. She goes at the bottom of the stairs, sometimes to the door, and sits there and screams. But now that she's on camera, she's not doing anything. Hey, what are you doing? Of course you're not, you're gonna stop screaming now, aren't you? Okay, fine. She's, she's literally just screaming. I, I don't know why she does it. Okay, so while the potatoes and the carrots are cooking, we are going to make some veggie meat. So I just had the Yves ground veggie meat. This is something that is totally optional. I like to add this to have a little more protein in the meal. So I have this here. I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna just pan fry it really quick and just add it in at the end but I wanna kinda of heat it up and get it cooked. So we're doing that, and then we're also gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. So the sauce has like a couple other ingredients with the potatoes and carrots, obviously. So while the potatoes and carrots are cooking, we're gonna prepare the rest of the stuff. sauce is all blended up and then in the potato and carrot water I just ended up putting in the noodles I put in some macaroni noodles my regular macaroni noodles that I had I had some left over but if you guys saw my last video I bought some new pasta that we are gonna try this is the bonza penne 
pasta. It is really, really high in protein, super high in protein, really good on the carbs. And if you are in the States, I recommend picking this up. If not, you can just use any regular pasta. I had some leftover macaroni noodles. So I put the leftover macaroni noodles in there with the bonza pasta. I'm excited to try this. I think it'll be good. But whatever preference you guys have for noodles, you guys can just use. So put the noodles in there, waiting for them to cook, and then we can mix it all together. So it is all mixed together and there's one final step left and it is to put this on. So we use panko breadcrumbs. You guys can just use regular breadcrumbs, I guess, if you want. So put a little bit of this on, put it in the oven for a little bit just to brown it on top and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna do this because I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> guys we got the mac and cheese all done here it looks delicious it smells delicious and it's pretty much all done so you can eat it like this of course but me I love flavor and I love to add spices to many things if you guys have seen my wedding in the days I always add some sort of spice and you guys have seen this one before many many times before this is the roasted garlic and pepper spice i love this and if you guys check the ingredients there was some put in the sauce already but i just like love the flavor of this and i love this combination together it is so so good so i'm gonna add some of this on and i'm gonna go eat it up and so yeah that's how i make my mac and cheese i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys try it let me know down below don't be scared of the cheese sauce it's really easy to make and it tastes really cheesy it's just a bit different so try it at home I really recommend it uh, yeah I'm gonna go eat this and I'll see you guys later Thank you. 
Hey guys, so I am back from the gym. I'm having like a post-workout snack. I'm really not hungry. I'm having some popcorn. This is the Lesser Evil popcorn. I talked about it in my last video. I did a grocery haul. Go check it out if you didn't see it. I'll have it linked above, but go check it out. And then I'm also having a banana that was squished in my bag. So I'm trying to eat it up before it goes too bad. And of course I got my water. So I'm back from the gym. My workouts have definitely changed a lot in the past week, that is for sure. If you guys know, I'm getting over a sickness, which I mean, really, I feel like I have to repeat that 50 times, but I am. And um, it's really hard for me to breathe. It's, it's more like I just have this really bad cough. Other than that, I'm fine, really. I am a little, little sluggish, but not really. It's more the coughing that makes me very tired because it takes a lot of energy out of my body. And I try not to get my breathing up too much because that triggers my coughing. So when I get coughing, it goes like nonstop. Like it's really hard for me to stop. I spoke in my last video, I, I'm not saying that this is a diagnosis, I'm just saying it's very similar because I've had this before, I had whipping cough before, and this is pretty similar to it when I get really badly coughing, but I don't think it is that, but it's very similar to that. I'm kind of praying it's not that because it lasts a really long time, so I'm just kind of keeping my training pretty easy because I don't want to go into coughing fits when I get my breathing up. So I'm still keeping the weights pretty light because I don't want to put too much pressure. I start to cough and things like that when I go too heavy. So I keep it pretty, pretty relatively moderate, I guess you can say, not light. I keep it pretty moderate. It still is working. It's not anything that's too light for me, but not anything that's overly heavy for me. And I'm keeping it kind of around there. And then for my Metcons, I'm keeping it very easy and not going too hard. I pace myself like crazy like I go really slow like today was a 15 minute AMRAP and I ended up doing like three rounds or something like that but really slow and keeping the weights more lighter than like the normal RX weights that I do and it's all part of the healing and I figured I'd just share this with you guys because uh, this is what my training's looking like right now and I don't know how long it's gonna last we'll see I guess but I'm keeping my weights relatively moderate I guess you can say, a bit lighter than I normally would and I'm going just real slow on my Metcons because when it comes to like double unders today, I took my time because your girl was going to start having a coughing fit. I try and keep my breathing in control a little bit. I go a little over, I guess, my normal breathing obviously and uh, I don't get it too jacked up because then I'm going to just have a coughing fit and that's, first of all, you, that's disgusting to do in a gym. I don't want to be coughing everywhere. And second of all, nobody needs to breathe in my sickness or my coughs or anything like that. Because definitely if I'm coughing, I'm spreading my germs. So I've been really Purelling myself and Purelling everything that I touch so nobody else gets sick because this is a crappy, crappy cough. Luckily, David hasn't gotten it yet, so I'm happy for him. Anyways, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You guys know where it is. And yes, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out. Love just brings me down. Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back. I wanna give you a chance. Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting round, baby.